subject english grammar today i am explaining chapter 2 subject and predicate before i am explaining this chapter in detail i'll ask you one question have to make sentence a sentence made from groups of words means from groups of words we have to make a sentence that sentence divided into two parts divided into two parts which one first one subject and second one predicate so let's see a sentence has two parts sentence ke kitne parts hote hain do first subject and second predicate means a, a sentence has two parts subject and predicate here i have written the example of subject and predicate let's see the example number 1 rahul likes playing football rahul ko kya pasand hai rahul likes playing football rahul ko football play karna pasand hai this is a sentence ye kya hai sentence that makes complete sense or isko hum kehte hain ki ye complete sense hai matlab iska pura meaning nikalta hai ye sentence ka so let's see rahul is the subject yes who like playing football rahul so rahul is the subject and remaining part of the sentence predicate means if we find the subject from the sentence then we have to make a question hum question bana sakte hain who like playing football football play karna kisko pasand hai what the answer we get we get the answer rahul so rahul is the subject and remaining part of the sentence likes playing football we can say it is called the predicate next rahul is the subject because the sentence is about rahul kyunki ye sentence rahul ke bare mein diya gaya hai isliye rahul is the subject the word rahul is the subject and next point likes playing football is the predicate because kyun kyunki it tells us about the subject rahul kyunki wo subject rahul ke bare mein keh rahe hain likes playing football now i'll give you the definition of subject and predicate so let's see the definition of subject the part of the sentence that tells us what or whom the sentence is about is called the subject sentence kiske bare mein keh rahe hain use hum kahenge subject means again i repeat the part of the sentence sentence ka part hai that tells us what or whom wo kon hai the sentence is about kiske bare mein hai is called the subject use kahenge subject now next i'll give you the definition of predicate the part of the sentence that tells us something about the subject wo subject ke bare mein kuch keh rahe hai use kahenge predicate is called the predicate again i repeat the part of the sentence that tells us something about the subject subject ke bare mein kuch keh rahe hai is called the predicate so you have to speak the definition of subject and predicate with me the part of the sentence that tells us what or who the sentence is about is called the subject 
Now next the part of the sentence that tells us something about the subject is called the predicate. Now let's see next point. Look at the following sentence. Here I have written one sentence. I read this sentence. The girls are not tired. So here the girls we have to include it in subject. The girls हम उसे क्या कहेंगे subject. And remaining part of the sentence we have to include it in predicate. So are not tired is called the predicate. The girls we can say is called the subject. Now keep in your mind. The predicate always includes the word. जब भी आप predicate ढूंढो तब वो verb के साथ ही होगा मतलब कि predicate की शुरुआत verb से ही होगी यहाँ पे देखिए we can say आर is called a verb. तो यहाँ पे predicate की शुरुआत verb से हुई मतलब उस प्रेडिकेट में वर्ब इंक्लूड होगा उसे कहेंगे प्रेडिकेट नाउ हियर आई हैव रिटन सम मोर एग्जांपल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सब्जेक्ट एंड व्हाट इज प्रेडिकेट सो आई हैव रिटन हियर फोर एग्जांपल्स लुक एट दैट एग्जांपल सम मोर एग्जांपल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट सो हियर आई हैव मेड टू पार्ट्स Part one, subject, and second part, predicate. So, in that subject part, I have written here the boy. Yes, look at the predicate part. Was chasing the cat. Cat के पीछे कौन दौड़ रहा है? The boy. So the boy is called the subject. Was chasing a cat. Yes, is called the predicate. यहाँ पे subject के बारे में कुछ कह रहे हैं। तो was chasing a cat. उसे कहेंगे predicate. और cat के पीछे कौन दौड़ रहा है? The boy. So the boy is called the subject. So subject the boy. And predicate was chasing a cat. Next example. Suraj is sleeping. Okay. So Suraj we have to include it in subject. And predicate we have to include it in is sleeping. Okay. Kaun so raha hai? Suraj. So Suraj we have to include it in subject. Or Suraj kya kar raha hai? He is sleeping. So raha hai. So is sleeping we have to include it in predicate. So keep in your mind the predicate always includes the word. Look at the both the sentences here. Look at into the predicate column. Both the sentences was is a word and in the sentence number two also is we can include it in word. So in both the sentences predicate includes the word. Predicate में word include है. ठीक है? Next the toy car. The toy car is the subject. Toy car was running on the track. वो track में दौड़ रही है. So the toy car. ट्रेक में कौन चल रहा है कौन दौड़ रहा है द टॉय कार सो द टॉय कार इज कॉल्ड दी सब्जेक्ट वाज रनिंग ऑन द ट्रैक इज कॉल्ड दी प्रेडिकेट मींस जहां पे वर्ब दिया हो सेंटेंस में उससे आगे वाला जो सेंटेंस होता है वो सब हम प्रेडिकेट में इंक्लूड करेंगे or before the verb, generally we have to include it in the subject. Now the next last sentence. The helicopter flew over.
over the sea. The helicopter flew over the sea. So, we have to here the helicopter is included in subject and flew over the sea included in predicate. So, sea ke over on chal raha hai helicopter. So, helicopter is the subject and flew over the sea we can include it in predicate. So, flew we can say it is called the verb. So, verb say sentence jo hum alag karte usse kehte hai predicate. Uske pehle wala jo words hai usse kehte hai hum subject. Now, look at the next point. The subject may have only one or more than one word. Subject may shayad one word bhi ho sakte hai, do word bhi ho sakte hai or more than one word it is given in the sentence. Subject may have only one word or we can say two words or we can say more than two words. So look at here. Example number three, the toy car. Here subjects are given in three words. Okay. Suraj here subjects are given in one word. So, the boy in this example subject given in two words and the helicopter here the subject given in two words. So, in this topic we have to learn what is subject and what is predicate. Now students, we have to do the activity of subject and predicate. Let's see, I have seen here some pictures. Let's see. Subject and in the second part predicate. So in the subject part I have stick the picture of Mahak. I have stick the picture of Sudha. You can easily identify Sudha is called the teacher. Now next picture. Which picture is this? You can easily identify bird. And the next picture you can easily identify a rabbit. So here there are four pictures I have stick here in the column of subject. And now let's see the predicate. So in the predicate column I have also stick four pictures. So first picture look at here is our class teacher. So, you can easily identify which picture is this. The picture is of book. Now, next is a domestic animal. So, which picture is this? Yes, is the picture of carrot. Now, next wrote a story. And last one is flying. You can easily identify is the picture of cloud and here which shape is this triangle so in this activity what we have to do yes we have to do choose correct predicate here the subject is given mahek sudha bird rabbit but here look at mahek in front of mahek is our class teacher so, we have to choose correct predicate. So, Mahak, we have to choose correct predicate for the Mahak. Which one is the correct predicate? Yes, for Mahak wrote a story. So, we have to change the predicate. So, Mahak wrote a story. So, we have to put here Mahak Mahak wrote a story. Now, we have to make a sentence. From this sentence, Mahak we have to include it in subject. And wrote a story we have to include it in 
Predicate means Mahek is the subject. Wrote a story. Predicate. So we can easily identify who is subject and who is predicate. Predicate कौन है और subject कौन है वो हमें easily समझ में आ गया. Story कौन लिख रहा है? Mahek is called the subject. Wrote a story is called the predicate. Now, next one. Suda. Suda we have to match with is a domestic animal? No, no, no. Now, Suda we have to match with is our class teacher. So, we have to exchange this. In front of Suda, we have to put is our class teacher. Okay. Yes. So, in sentence number two, we can easily identify the word Sudha is called the subject and is our class teacher is called the predicate. Hamare class teacher kon hai? Sudha. So, Sudha is the subject and is our class teacher is called the predicate. Now, next. Look at the picture. Which picture is this? The bird. Yahan pe bird ka picture diya hai. So we have to match with bird kya kar rahe hai? Ab ko pata hai. Find it out. Yes, the bird is flying. So we have to exchange bird is flying. So look at the sentence. The bird is flying. Bird kya kar rahe hai? Flying. Flying kon kar rahe hai? Bird. So the bird we have to include it in subject. And is flying included in predicate. So now last. Which picture is this? Rabbit. So in front of rabbit. Which picture is this? It is a correct predicate over here. So, we have to make a sentence. Rabbit is a domestic animal. In this sentence, which word is a subject and which words are predicate? So, rabbit is a subject and is a domestic animal. We can include it in predicate. Domestic animal kon sa hai? Rabbit. So, Rabbit is the subject. Is a domestic animal. Is the predicate. So, did you enjoy students? Yes. I know very well. You all are enjoying very well. By using this activity. So, from this activity, what we have to learn? We have to learn what is the subject. And what is the predicate? Abhar.